Hello, this is Mike Lieber from Northern Kentucky University, and this is the fifth in a series of 12 videos on modeling the heart. And we're going to start today by pulling off the superior vena cava. So if you take a look at the, the files that we have here, I, this is the blend.circles file, and we got that from uh, what we did last time. And here's the superior vena cava, uh, the uh, aorta, and the pulmonary artery. Let's go ahead and pull off the superior vena cava. The way we do that, we're going to come along and hit the... So what we're going to do first is the tab key. We're in edit mode. I'm going to hit the A key to get off of everything. Hit the B key to select the severe, superior vena cava. Cool. And I'm going to move over to the other screen and pull it off. So let's. Okay, let's create the superior vena cava. It's very simple. Let's hit the E key to extrude this. Click to activate the screen. Hit the E key. Extrude edges. And there we go. I'm going to hit the S key to shrink that a little bit. All right. And I hit the E key again to extrude up some more. And hit the S key to shrink a little bit. Uh, you can't see that, so let me bring this down. My Shift Alt key. I am on a, a touchpad, so hit the E key again. Extrude up, and hit the S key to shrink a little bit. E key again to keep extruding, and you can go on and on and pull off other veins and whatever you want. Now I'm going to show you a trick here. Very important trick here for completing the rest of this assignment. Let's scroll to the next screen. So now that we've modeled the superior vena cava, we want to model the pulmonary artery. I'm going to show you a little bit of a trick here. Let me come over here so we can see this image. And the way it goes in Blender, you have the ability actually to put different objects on different layers. But we don't want to do that here because this is all the same object. We're going to connect everything together. So what you want to do is actually use the hide command, which is the H key, and to bring everything back is the Alt H key. So I'm going to get rid of that vena cavity and I'm going to just work with the pulmonary artery. So if I come along here and I hit the A key, excuse me, the B key to so it's marquee around the uh, Savina, superior vena cava, I can just hit H and it's gone. Now if it Alt H, it comes back. So this is going to be very vital because this is going to become very complex with these veins weaving in and out. We're going to need to be able to select them and deselect them or hide them and bring them back. Let's hide this and now let's start modeling the pulmonary artery. So I'm going to go back over here I was, and I'm going to highlight this actually on the other side by hitting the B key and marking around it. You don't see me doing it, but I'm just going actually going through the to the other side of the image, and I'm just highlighting around the uh, pulmonary artery. So at this point, let's extrude the pulmonary artery. So let's hit the E key and extrude that edges and bring that out. And we're going to rotate that now around the x-axis. So let's hit the R key and uh, X to rotate around X. Cool, and then we're actually going to pull those arteries out. I'm going to bring that up just a little bit more, stretch that out, cool. So now that we've extruded this artery a little bit, we want to split it in half. So we're going to hit the Alt key, rotate it up, select one vertice and extrude it, and another vertice and extrude it the other way, connect them so we can split this artery in half. Let me go ahead and just right click and select this one so we know we already have one selected. Let's hit the Alt key and rotate this up, good. And we're going to actually rotate this around a little bit so we can see what's going on. And we're going to hit the uh, right click here. I'm going to hit the E key to extrude that. Good. And we're going to right click on here. We're going to hit the E key to extrude that. Good. We're going to now hold the shift key down and right click so we can uh, select them both. And now hit the W key to merge them. And now they're merged. Very good. So what I'm going to do now is start selecting vertices. So I can actually just hit the shift key and right click on some of these. They're kind of hard to select, so I'm going to actually physically select each one of them so I don't have any errors here. Cool, did a pretty good job here. Let's go around and select the ML. So once again, I'm going to go down to view like I talked about before. Hit front, that will reorient me. That's good. And now I'm going to hit the E key. We're good. And extrude edges. And we're going to bring that up. And we're actually going to rotate it a little bit. So I'm going to go back to my rotation tool. I'm going to hit the Alt or control space bar, bring up that combo tool so I can start working with both of these at the same time. There we go. Hit the E key again. Extrude those edges. Good. Let's rotate around a little bit. Now we're cooking with gas. And hit the E key again. Extrude those edges. Good. And it's all looking really good. I'm going to control alt to just move this back a little bit and just extrude the rest of this artery. Hit the E key. That extrude out there. Great. Let's hit the S key and shrink that a little bit. All right, and then I'm going to keep extruding. Let me move this over so you can see me. Hit the E key to extrude. And the S key to shrink. 
circle. And you can just keep going on and pulling off veins and arteries as much as you want. So let's now go to the other side. So I'm going to move over to the other side and begin extruding it. So I'm going to hit the A key to get off what I've already selected. I'm actually going to hit the Control Alt to move in with the, because I'm on a mouse pad. You'd actually be using your uh, middle scroll button. I'm going to hit the Shift Alt to move over. And Alt just to rotate over so I actually select those particular uh, uh, vertices. I'm, once again, I'm just going to hold the Shift key and right click and just select those individually because it's really hard to get in there and pull out what you want. So sometimes it's easier just to select them individually. Sometimes you can do it with a loop cut. Right now I'm just kind of, you know, doing it the brute force way. And that's fine. So I hit that. Let's hit the E key. Just extrude that. And we're just going to bring that up and we're going to rotate that down a little bit. Cool. Right. Now I'm going to go ahead and my uh, view, get me back on my artery, uh, the, front, the front side, good. And I'm going to start extruding that out, hit the E key again. There we go. And hit the E key again. There we go. I'm going to rotate that out a little bit right. And shrink that just a little bit, good. Hit the E key again. Good. Okay, we're done with that artery, and we can move on to the next one. Now, in this screen, what I actually have to do is pull the aorta, this circle right here, over the pulmonary artery. And that's not too difficult. I'm going to go over to the other side, extrude a little bit, and start pulling over, looking at both images going back and forth. So let's go back to the other side. Let's go ahead and select this artery real quick, though. Hit the uh, B key. Do a selection. Let's move over to the other side. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do an extrusion, simple extrusion, by hitting the E key. There we go. I'm just going to extrude that up a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to rotate a little bit, of course. And hit, hit another E key. Let's extrude up. There we go. And rotate around a little bit. I'm going to hit the S key, shrink that just a little bit. Okay. And now I want to go back and take a look of what direction I'm going in. I don't think I'm going the right direction. So let's look at the other um, side. And you can see, nope, not quite going in the right direction. Let's move that over just a little bit that way. And we actually really need to extrude in another direction. So we're going to actually handle this in two different ways. I can actually go ahead and do the whole creation of the artery and just rotate it. And I think that's exactly what I'm doing. It looks like it's going to be the easiest thing to do. So let's go back, create the entire artery, and then let's rotate it around. Let's hit the E key again, and let's extrude a little bit. Okay, we rotated that around a little bit. Let's hit the S key to shrink it a little bit. Good. Let's extrude a little bit more. Hit the E key and extrude. Good. Things are looking really good on the other side. We'll take a look at it in a moment. Let's hit the uh, R key. We don't have to do that. Excuse me. Escape out of that. Let's rotate it around using our tool. There we go. Hit the E key again. Good. Hit the S key. So I have my artery made, but what I want to do is basically rotate it over the other one so it just laps over it. All I need to do is hit my B key and select that and just do a rotation. So let's hit the B key. And let's select just that artery. Good, got the whole thing. And now you can see that's the Z direction, so I want to rotate in the Z direction. So I'm going to hit R and Z, which will allow me to rotate in the Z direction. Very good. Of course, I have to reposition everything. So let me rotate where it's supposed to go. Very good. And now let me reposition it all. And that is fantastic. I'm going to hit the uh, Alt H key to bring my other artery back, or my superior, or my superior vein and cava back. Alt H. I have them all three. Let's take a look at the other screen. And there they are. Isn't that beautiful? I've made my uh, arteries. Let's move on to the next lesson and connect them.